Welcome to the Football Player Stories channel. Today, we'll explore the fascinating life of the legendary Mexican goalkeeper, Jorge Campos. Known for his incredible saves and skills as a forward, he broke barriers in football. From his early days at Unam Pumas to the 1994 and 1998 World Cups, let's uncover the standout moments of this unique journey. Discover his experiences, challenges, and triumphs. How did he become an icon of the Mexican national team? What was the transition from goalkeeper to forward like? Subscribe, like, and share for more exciting content. Join us on this inspiring journey with Jorge Campos. Let's go! Jorge Francisco Campos Navarrete, born in Acapulco, on October 15, 1966, known simply as Jorge Campos, is a former Mexican footballer who played as a goalkeeper and forward. Campos was known for actively participating in plays like outfield players, scoring goals, providing assists to teammates, and even taking free kicks and penalties. He is also remembered for playing in flashy uniforms and having a relatively short height, 1.68 meters, for a goalkeeper. Career Campos began his career in 1988 with Unam Pumas, where he played until 1995. Initially, Adolfo Rios was the starting goalkeeper and El Brody was deployed as a forward. The improvisation worked. In the first season, Campos scored 14 goals and competed for the top scorer title. With Rios's departure, Campos became the new starting goalkeeper for the Felinos. In eight years at Pumas, he played 183 matches and scored 31 goals. In 1995, he joined Atlante, where he played for one season, scoring a goal in 38 games. This goal turned out to be significant for Campos, as the attack of Potros de Hierro did not perform as expected, the goalkeeper was moved to the attack, and his immediate backup, Felix Fernandez, took his place. The change was effective, Campos scored a beautiful volley, one of the most memorable moments in his career. The following year, he signed with the Los Angeles Galaxy in the then-emerging Major League Soccer. After a season with the Galaxy, he returned to Mexico to play for Cruz Azul, featuring in only one match. In 1998, he returned to the United States to play for the Chicago Fire, participating in eight games. He returned to Pumas the same year, breaking a two-year goal-scoring drought. Between 1999 and 2002, he played for Tigres UANL, 1999-2000, 17 games, again Pumas, 2000-2001, 33 games, and had a second stint with Atlante, 2001-2002, 26 matches. Campos concluded his career in early 2004 after two seasons with Puebla, where he played in 28 matches. National Team Campos played 130 matches for the Mexican national football team between 1991 and 2004 without scoring any goals. He was the starting goalkeeper in the 1994 and 1998 World Cups. In 2002, Coach Javier Aguirre chose the then 35-year-old Oscar Perez Rojas over the veteran Campos. Campos' farewell from the Mexican national team was in 2004 and a friendly against Ticos. In addition to the 1994, 1998, and 2002 World Cups, the goalkeeper participated in three editions of the Copa America, 1993, runner-up, 1995 and 1999, third place. Two editions of the CONCACAF Gold Cup, 1993 and 1996, champion in both, the 1995 King Fod Cup, former name of the Confederations Cup, the 1999 edition, now with the new name, winning the title, and the 1996 Atlanta Olympics. After Retirement In the same year as his retirement as a player, Campos was chosen to be an assistant coach to Ricardo La Volpe in the Mexican national team, a role he held until the 2006 World Cup. Today, he owns Sportortas Campos, a fast food franchise, and also works as a commentator on TV Azteca. Animated Series Tribute 
Campos was honored in the animated series Captain Tsubasa, Super Campios in Brazil, with a character named Ricardo Espadas, who also played as a goalkeeper and was the captain of the Mexican national team.